right, it's early April in the UK, in the northeast of the UK that is, and unfortunately, although it's nice and sunny, it's damn cold. Temperatures aren't in double figures yet, although they have been for a couple of days last week. Water temperature is still really cold. There is quite a few flies around, there's a lot of midges, and I've noticed there's a few olives as well hatching out from the river. So I'm going with an upwinged olive fly. Dry, even though I can't see any fish rising. And I'm going to give it a go and see if I can catch any fish. I love fish and dry fly, and I know for a fact that the fish probably haven't moved from the bigger pools into the runners, but I'm going to try the runners with a dry fly. I love fish and dry fly. Maybe it's when the weather warms up a bit, that looks like a cracking place. It's still just a little bit too cold. I've seen one fish rise. One! It's risen a couple of times in the same place. So I've got the same dry fly on. It's probably at the limit of my casting range, so I might have to let it drift down a little bit. I'm going to have a go for that one. That fish is rising way beyond the capability of me and my rod. It's out of range. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to try and creep down a little bit further. Water's quite shallow here, so I don't want the fish to see me. Well, I've managed to creep down a little bit more. The fish has risen a couple of times since I've been sitting here. So I don't think I've scared it. Just about to see that had to have gone right over the top of it, and it did. Lovely little brownie, brown trout, Salmo truda. Beautiful little fish, absolutely beautiful, and that took that olive really well. So he's going to go back from whence he came. Get up there. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I honestly wasn't expecting to catch anything on such a cold day. Now the top end of this pool behind me here is normally boiling with fish. But I think it's just too damn cold. There's no flies hatching. I haven't seen any fish rise. So I think to catch one fish on dry fly was an absolute result. It hasn't made for a very interesting video, but I've loved it. I would rather catch one fish on dry in difficult conditions than ten on wet fly. Don't ask me why. I'm just like that. I just love catching fish on the top. Very difficult to deer but I still managed it, so I'll give myself a pat on the back.
get in there. Hopefully next time I come down here, I'll catch more fish. In fact, I know I'll catch more fish because I'm going to wait until it warms up a little bit, till there's a little bit more fly life in the air and on the water. And even though this stretch of river gets fished quite a lot, both legally and illegally, by people, herons, otters, mink, gusanders, cormorants, <laughs> all of them things, there's still fish to be caught here. I always catch fish when the weather's warm because I tend to fish the places that are quite difficult to cast with a fly rod. Most people ignore those places so the fish do well in those particular pools. When it warms up, I'll be back. Thanks very much for watching.